All right, folks. Um, anyway, just an experiment here. I am uh, doing a little video about the nightshade and the history of how that came to be. Uh, kind of holding my webcam here in my office, so <laughs> it's uh, maybe not the best quality, but it's all right. So I've gathered together some history here. So this right here is the original prototype of the technology. If you go to look up my patents, this is the one that you'll see, this exact one. So inside, the, it goes together a lot different. So this is the V4. At the time when I made this first prototype, I didn't have this little ridge here. So we were kind of trying to hold it all together by hand. I also had invented the assembly tool. I did not bring the assembly tool for the video. I don't really want to reveal that. But anyway, that's the first one. We found out, you know, it wasn't exactly what we wanted it to be. And putting it together was a nightmare. You can see all those individual bolts. A lot more individual pieces of magnet. So, but anyway, the first production of this uh, Saint technology, as I call it, and it's 4 And this is kind of like the, you know, the Tony Stark arc reactor looking thing that goes inside. Uh, the magnets actually haven't changed between 4, 5, and 6. So, same size, all that. Um, the, these were N48H, and I did upgrade to N52H later, but that's not a huge deal. But you can see this thing here is all one piece, and it kind of slides down in the motor. And then the inside... This is the main novelty. We have the distribution ring for the magnetic flux here. Now going to the V5, the biggest difference between the V4 and the V5, you know, other than going to an eight layer, eight layer coil, which you can see this assembly will go down deeper in the motor, extends the shorting ring all the way down. A lot more heat absorption. So one of the big things about this motor design is that it allows us to use Neo without the Neo getting hot. We have multiple pathways even here, top and bottom of the Neo, to take the heat from the gap and put it out to the steel cylinder. So in this one, of course, we just have more internal heat sinking there. And the gap's a little bigger for an eight layer coil. Also, just some assembly notes. There's a little ridge here for better self-centering than the V4, just to make sure that that's one of the advantages of these over like other radials. It's basically these can't be put together if anything's wrong. So coming from this V4, V5, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do was to take the heat that we're already pushing out into the cylinder and try to get rid of it faster. And there was actually a prototype in between that never came to the light of day. A lot of people haven't seen it. And so this is it here. Kind of looks like some sort of bomb or something like that. So this is pretty similar to the effect of the V6, except assembling this was a nightmare. You know, this piece can wiggle, you know, all, these are pretty hard to get in there, and uh, but they do the same thing. They go in and they touch the distribution ring, if I'll explain on the V6. But the problems with this were assembly and the cost of these pieces, because these were these were like laser cut and the thickness had to be perfect and all that. And also assembly was a nightmare. So then we come over to the V6, which we all, well, I assume we all know and love uh, the newest version. And I have taken one apart here just to show you guys. This is the prototype. And you can see right here, the gap ring actually has little cuts in it for these aluminum pieces that have, make direct contact with this internal gap to suck the heat out here to this outside shorting ring and get it away from the neo magnet. So we have distribution ring neo magnet, steel sleeve, then aluminum heat sink. And the uh, below part on the V6 here looks just like this, except instead of these holes, it has slits to match the outside of the motor here. And so we have active cooling of the inside and outside aluminum by this high velocity air coming out of these slits, right? And then we're pulling it straight out of the gap here. And also the V6 adds this cool little piece here this is the proto so it wasn't attached. So this piece is an airflow director and it's uh, directional so it likes to push air out behind the former on the downstroke and then suck it up on the outside on the upstroke. And so here's another cool thing I want to show. I've discussed this a little bit that the NSV6 has very very little stray flux whatsoever. So check this out. This is a Z8. This is a standard variant motor. Okay that's my knife. And this V6, nothing. Five, nothing. Four, nothing. Original prototype, nothing. But inside, huge amount of magnetism. 
Same thing here with the five. You know, but there's no waste. None of it goes to the outside. No stray flux. So it all is very concentrated. So that's how we can use this small amount of Neo and get more motor force. You know, the NS V6 here has more motor force than the ZV6, which is you know twice as heavy. But anyway, thought I would do that cool video for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, you know, just kind of by hand cameraman ship here. So yeah, there we go.